we have over 400,000 pieces of mementos that have been left at this wall. I don't know how many years ago, a Vietnam Vet Association from Wisconsin hand-built, custom-built this motorcycle. It was never ridden. How this started was uh, actually Hoggy and Pollock come up uh, along with other people, came up with an idea to, to maybe build a bike as a commemorative, as in memory of uh, all the brothers and sisters. We had to kind of build it, take it all apart, then paint it, fit everything. Uh, I think it took, Hoggy, what did it take us, a year? One year. One year, eh? I think it took us a year. We had the dog tags made. There's one for every one of the 37 servicemen that were listed as missing in action from Vietnam. The seat was never sat on. The seat is for our brothers and sisters on the wall when they come home, so they'll have a place to ride with us. We wanted it to be a bike that would reflect the era where we came back. And this bike wasn't built to give to the United States government. This bike was built for the 58,000 plus people on the wall. This is their bike. We took it over there and it's, uh, it's been sitting there and they've been watching it ever since. They're doing a good job over there. Thank you so much. We just are all part of it. It has been my pleasure. I've been honored to, to be able to contribute. It's definitely a healing process that you go through at the wall. That's where you leave your heart. That's where you leave your thoughts. That's, that's where you leave a lot of tears and nothing wrong with that. <laughs>